This is Shane with Ocean Drum Incorporated. This tutorial will teach you to use Xcode Storyboard to develop a Core Data iOS application. So, this is the way we're going to get started is first we're going to create an empty uh, application. I'm going to name it uh, Trucks. And we have Core Data selected and we're using automatic reference counting. I'm not filling in the, the class prefix. So create. Okay, so the um, the first thing that we'll do is go into our app delegate.m file, and we want to take out this section of code. So the only thing that you have in the did finish launch launching with options is the return yes. Uh, if you didn't take that code out um, when you run the program, it's just going to display a. Um, you know, actually, I'll show you that. Let's just go ahead and first I'm going to create a add the storyboard because you'll notice that there isn't one uh, here. So you just go to user interface, storyboard, next, select iPhone, create storyboard. You go to the project file uh, here in the top and you'll select storyboard for your main storyboard. Okay? And uh, just for a test, we're going to drag in the view controller and we'll add a uh, label for trucks. All right. And let's run the simulator. So we should expect to see the view controller with uh, a trucks label on it. But um, because of the way uh, the, the app delegate is built uh, initially, uh, it's just going to show a blank white screen. Now this kind of drove me nuts because I'm like, you know, I did everything right. So the way that you resolve that is simply go into your app delegate uh, implementation file, look in your did finish launching with options, and take out this chunk of code. Now when you create, let's say, a um, a new story or a view controller, um, with storyboard, if you look looked at that section of code, the app delegate that that in file, it looks exactly like this. So we're just uh, duplicating. So you see how that works? Good. All right. So that's step one. Next thing we want to do. Uh, oh, now if you look in here, uh, what's nice? It already gives us all the uh, core data. Uh, you know methods that we'll uh, need to access uh, once we get started. So, uh, let's go ahead and design our implementation for the file. So uh, go ahead and grab a, uh, a label. I deleted that first label by the way. So we're going to call this uh, make for the first label. I'm holding down the option key to duplicate it, and then we're going to do um, miles per gallon. Okay. Then we're going to grab a text field, expand it a little bit. Like that. Hold down the option key so we can get a second text field. So we have two. So far, so good. And we're going to use a, a button. Actually, we're going to have two buttons. We're going to have an add button, add truck. And then option ends so we can duplicate it. And we're going to have a view. And we're going to have truck detail. So far, so good. Oh, it looks like I have too many fields here. Whoops, I'm just going to delete that one. All right, so that's basically what it's going to look like. Now, one of the um, other things that we're going to do is show you how to get rid of the dismiss the keyboard as part of this project. So um, let's go ahead and run it. I'll show you what I mean real quick.
it's thinking it's not too long I'm not going to edit that out so if you'll just be patient cool alright so when we click on that if I click the return button you see how the keyboard is not dismissed so we want to take care of that right away so let's close that out uh, what we're going to do is create a um, uh, implementation file and header file for this particular view controller. Before I do that, let's uh, add in some um, navigation logic. So just select a view controller. You're going to go to your edit, embed in, and select navigation controller. And you'll see how that gives us a, um, a root view controller and gives us the navigation bar at the top. So I'm just selecting the title bar and we're saying add truck okay now uh, let's add the view controller so focal touch objective c class next view controller and we're going to call it add truck view controller we don't want it to create a, uh, a zip or a nib file Next, great. Click on your storyboard. Okay, let's try to give you a little bit more to see. So I'm going to the editor here. Now select the view controller. Go back over to your uh, identity inspector. You want to select class and click add truck view controller. That's the one that we just created. Okay. So now to make the um, um, keyboard disappear. So uh, we're going to add in, uh, we call that the uh, less than greater than signs here and we're going to put in UI text text field delegate All right. we're going to uh, hold down the control key and then drag from the text field over to your implementation file to create the, the outlet for it and we're going to call this uh, the make uh, text field text field and I'm going to change that to strong and connect so that automatically completes our, our property we'll do the same thing for the miles per gallon we we'll call it mpg text field on so far good for the add truck hold down the control drag over now here when it says connection instead of outlet we want an action because that's going to be a method so we'll call that add truck button and connect cool okay now we need to connect these um, text fields to our uh, view control. So again, we're just going to hold down the control key and drag the line down to view controller, and you want to select the delegate. Okay? And then we're going to do the same for the miles per gallon. Delegate. Okay. Go over to your implementation file. And we're just going to synthesize those properties at synthesize uh, make text field at synthesize mpg text field. Okay, so now uh, to make the uh, text fields disappear, we need to add in a method minus uh, void text. Oops, sorry, it's a bool bool text field should return 
open bracket, text field, text field, resign first responder. And because it's a bool, we need to return yes. Okay, that's it. So let's go ahead and run this. Oh, one other thing, since we know that our miles per gallon is going to be a um, only numbers, go over to your identity inspector, the properties, attributes inspector, and under uh, keyboard type, we're going to select number pad. Enable auto we'll return key. Okay, now let's go ahead and run our simulator. And that should dismiss our text field. Okay, there we go. And return. And it disappears. For the number pad, uh, we'll have to do something else for that. But uh, this works great.